Kimberly here. Um, I don't feel very good today. I had my second COVID shot yesterday and I feel really weak and just I'm exhausted and I have a lot of shoulder pain. My not shoulder but well, yeah. that's my door. It is filthy from the dogs, from all the mud. I haven't cleaned off. I just I'll get around to it later but not now. But I felt really awful. Um I worked yesterday and we were in the field and it was really hot. It was like 90 like 94 degrees it was the first day back and because I had taken a couple weeks off and since the rain and they they were needing us to cut down the volunteer cotton and so the tractors could they have to have a clear path so if they have stray it's uh, like the cotton has to be in one one little strip and there's like a little dip and then there's another row and the seeds have to be on that higher level and if there's any in that little dip we have to cut those down because then the tractors can't get through but um and it was we started late and it was really hot and then I was like I have to leave early because I gotta get that shot and when I got it um I felt I felt okay I guess that night I felt kind of okay but I felt really exhausted about I don't know it was like nine o'clock at night all of a sudden I just got extremely exhausted and I fell asleep and then I woke up um, this is a baby wipe it's like cooling me off or, I don't know, it just feels really good and I feel just really weak and weird and but I I got the shot and then I yeah I woke up about five o'clock this morning and my arm was like on fire uh, I mean it was like a stabbing pain in my arm where I got the shot and it was a little bit not really puffy but just maybe a little bit inflamed I guess and it, I mean, it literally felt like somebody was taking a knife. And I was so exhausted from all the work and then just how tired I was from the shot. You know, it, it affected me, starting to affect me. So I fell asleep and I had to sleep on my right arm, which I'm a back sleeper because I have sleep paralysis and I have a fear of suffocating if I don't wake up. You know, if I turn over and I my face is in a pillow or something, I get I always sleep on my back. Um, but I had to sleep on my side. And then when I woke up, I couldn't hardly move. And it just felt like excruciating pain. Like it was just stabbing me. And I just, for a moment, I thought, am I having a heart attack? <laughs> Because I felt really weak. I mean, extremely weak. I couldn't even hardly get up. I like was trying to roll over and put my feet on the floor. And my dog woke up and he was like trying to get in my face. And he does this thing where he'll get beside me and I can put my I, love, I like put my hand on his his back and pull myself up. And he he stands there like that for me. And I just felt. Uh, I felt horrible, horrible. I still, I called in today. I did not go to work. I felt so drained and my, my shoulder was hurting, really excruciating pain. And then down to my elbow, I had like, uh, it felt like it was inflamed. Like my elbow was very sore. Like I couldn't hardly, you know, bend it like, you know, normal. It was like stuck in that position. And then my muscle, Actually, in my my neck muscle on this side from my head right here was like real tense, real, I mean like hard as a rock when I was touching it felt like it was so tensed up. Not really like a cramp, but I mean a sort of, but it just stayed that way, 
you know. And it went all the way down to my elbow. My elbow was hurting really bad. And then my forearm muscle right here was uh, like kind of cramped up too. And then my wrist was, it felt a little sore. I popped my wrist all the time. And then my three fingers for my pinky and those two fingers next to it, the knuckles, were clenched up. They were like, like that. And I couldn't unclench my hand. I was like, what the hell? And I had to, it took about 30 minutes for me to, I was trying to straighten out, but it hurt. It felt like the same thing, like needles or like a knife was stabbing into the, the knuckles. But I broke all three of those knuckles before. And I'm, I have like a little bit of arthritis in my knuckles on my hands. And it took a long time. And it didn't com they didn't completely like straighten out flat. They kind of, I got them to do that. And they felt like really weak. Like I couldn't grip anything hardly. I just felt really weird. I, but I did not have the nausea like I had last time. Like where I, I was throwing up like every, well I didn't throw up. I just had like that like that retching, you know, weird. And it wasn't stomach contents because I didn't have anything in my stomach. It was the the water under your tongue, you know, that, you know, it collects and I kept having to, in a bucket, you know, I put it next to me and I'd have to roll over and, you know, and I did that for the first, not, not from this shot, but the first shot, I did that almost to like seven o'clock that day or something seven or six seven i don't really remember but it was almost all day i felt nauseous and i didn't feel nauseous today but i didn't i didn't have any appetite i really i just barely ate i didn't eat breakfast i ate some those chicken oh my god what are they chicken salad packets that you get at walmart and you put them on the crackers that's about all that i could really stomach i really didn't feel like eating anything I mean, I just, I had no appetite, I, and I still feel, like, horrible, but I did go and get a Coke, and I drink water when I'm in the field, I don't drink a Coke when I'm in the field, but I, I felt like maybe my head, I was starting to get a little bit of a headache, and I went and got a Coke, and I do feel better, like, my headache kind of, I feel a little bit better, I mean, that caffeine did kind of perk me up a little bit. But I feel, I feel drained, very weak, and just exhausted. I mean, I didn't even do my makeup, do nothing. I just, I couldn't even, I mean, I can barely, I feel like barely getting up or doing anything. And I got my Coke, and I've just been sipping on that. And my, that was my dog. Um, and my... I just feel like my my whole body is achy. I do have aches and pains, kind of like kind of like when you had the flu. I have body aches, so I have the body aches, and my my arm was so I'm, I'm not having the stabbing pains anymore, but it does feel extremely numb, and it it hurts. Not really numb, tender, very very tender, and um, my my hands are uh, I can bend. I can. My fingers are okay now, but I just felt very, like, weak. Like I didn't have any grip or anything, and I felt very just worn out. I just, I feel like doing nothing. I've been, I've done nothing. I didn't do my podcast. I was late on that on Sunday, and I, yesterday I just didn't have time because I went to go eat. When I got off work, I kind of cleaned up a little bit because I was all sweaty. So I went to the bathroom in town and country, or not town and country, what they call stripes. They, they used to be called town and country, but now they're stripes. And I like got paper towel, wiped my face and my arm. I, I didn't know which arm I was going to get it in. But uh, and then I, I ate this time. I did eat something. I went and got a chicken sandwich from McDonald's and I ate something. I think maybe that helped with the nausea. Because last time, I think I ate just some little thing for breakfast, not much. And I think I ate like two crackers or peanut butter crackers or something. Just very little, like little. I barely just enough to make me where I had some energy at work. But then when I got off work and I went and got that shot, I felt really nauseous. You know, I think 
uh, not having anything in my stomach was making me nauseous. And I, I did have a little bit of cough this morning. I woke up and I was coughing. And I had that arm pain. And I felt within five minutes, I could tell I was so weak and so drained. I couldn't even do... I mean, it took all my energy just to get up and go to the bathroom. And I still feel really weak. I think it's about... 4 4 30 and I just feel really tired and I'm trying to do the podcast but I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna make it I'll just my voice <coughs> it is a little scratchy like not really cough but I'm like I'll I think I'm gonna say something and my throat is so dry and I'm like eh. like like phlegm like I don't know it just <laughs> so so it's so awful and I'm gonna see if I can go to work tomorrow if I don't feel as bad then I will go to work but I don't know it's just I mean it's very hot it's supposed to be like 100 and 105 next I'll wait till Friday 103 105 107 and 8 I think just all all in the hundreds and today I think it's gonna be like 97 96 I don't know what but it's very hot and I don't know I may leave early I just have to see but and this is the Moderna shot I got the Moderna shot so um, these side effects are for the Moderna and they say you should get a booster shot like in six months to get whatever shot you got to get the other one like in six months so I don't know mm, okay well I'm gonna try to get that podcast done or I don't know I mean I'm feeling so tired okay um thank you all and hope y'all have a good day